Hi everyone, I hope you're still enjoying Everyday May. Today's video is going to be a casual, chatty makeup tutorial where I'm showing lots of new products, whether it's products I've been sent or some of the stuff I bought in New York that you would have seen in my haul video. If you haven't seen the beauty haul that I did from New York, go check it out. I'll put the little I button here. So I'm going to stop rambling and get straight into it and just talk through the products as I'm applying them, just like we're just sitting and doing our makeup together because I kind of love watching these videos, so I hope you guys do too. I'm going to start with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation that I picked up in Sephora. It's a water-based foundation, so it's obviously quite watery. I got the shade Light Sand, and I'm going to shake it up because I always like to do that with watery foundations. I've used this a couple of times, and I really like it. I find it a little bit messy because of the applicator. I kind of put it on the back of my hand, and then apply it onto where I want the coverage. It smells very, like fruity and fresh. It smells a bit like Chanel foundations actually. And then I'm going to use my um, Real Techniques complexion sponge. I am still using the artist brushes but I still don't feel confident enough to kind of use them easily in a video. I wanted the focus of this video to be more about the products. So I'm just going to bounce that all over the skin. I've made the sponge quite quite damp because I like how it kind of goes with the watery foundation. On first application it's very very light and quite sheer, but you can definitely build it up. I'm just gonna keep kind of bopping this all over the skin. I haven't got great skin at the moment because of all the flying. I'm just more spotty than I usually am and a bit more dry as well. I'm just gonna take a bit more of that. See, so now I kind of got it all over my hand and it's definitely more messy than I would like. I think it looks really fresh on the skin though, which is why I really like this foundation. I'm definitely gonna continue to use it. So that's the foundation done, a nice light to medium coverage. And then I like to use my Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I'm not using a new concealer today because I just love this one. It's got such good coverage that I feel like I can wear a lighter foundation. And then just use this where I need a bit of extra coverage. This is the light, light neutral shade. I'm using quite a bit of concealer these days. And then I'm going to use the sponge again just to bop that into place. I like to take it under my eye and also on top of the lid as well just to neutralise it because I have quite dark eyelids. Then I'm going to use this which is new from Rodile. I got sent this yesterday and it's their banana powder and I've never tried a banana powder before but they're really nice because it's a yellow setting powder so it's nice for brightening. I'm just going to take a little bit and apply that under the eye to kind of set my concealer. It's a nice light powder. It definitely doesn't come out yellow on the skin so Nothing to be afraid of. I don't know how much that did, but I'll probably know later on the day whether that set my concealer or not. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze up the skin and I'm going to contour separately just so I can show you two different products. This one is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I think it was Amelia or someone convinced me to get this when I was in CVS in New York. I didn't realise though that it smells so strong. After I put up the haul video, a lot of you guys commented saying, wait till you smell the bronzer. It smells like full on like old school sun cream, like the sort of sun cream your parents put on you when you were a kid. It smells like holiday, like coconuts. At first I loved it, but it's actually really quite overpowering. And I feel I find that when you put it on the skin, you can still smell it. And I'm not sure that's something I love. I also think it worries me that it's gonna break me out because something that's so heavily scented, I feel like it could just end up making you spotty. But I'm gonna apply it to show you guys what it looks like. Just very lightly. It is a nice bronzer, and it does have a very buttery formula to it. I fake tanned last night, so I don't need too much bronzing, which is nice. It's not showing up that much on camera, so I'll put a little bit on more on. So my thoughts on that are that I like the bronzer and the formula, but not so sure on the heavy scent. I'm also going to do a bit of contouring using the Kat Von D shade and light palette that I picked up. I knew that I wouldn't get that much use out of the highlight shades at the top. Someone said that this middle one is quite good for setting your concealer, so I might try that one day. But I think for now, I'm going to take the lightest, most ashy shade and just add a little bit of definition. It's a very nice powder. It's very soft. And it's, I find it a little bit easier to wear than the Kevin O'Quan one. So I'm going to leave that there. I, I'm happy that I got this palette because I think the contour shades are really good. And I'm going to go back to this later on to do a bit of my eyeshadow as well. I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows. You guys have seen this a million times before. I'm using the Delilah Brow Liner. For a little bit of highlight, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm so glad I got this and I'm gutted I didn't get the other one. So funny. If you know the whole 
story. I think I mentioned it in my haul video. But this one has Hard Candy, Mimosa, Starburst and Crushed Pearl. It's slightly more pink than the other one. I think I would have preferred the more yellowy palette. But Crushed Pearl is beautiful. I actually kind of mix them. I think today I'm going to mix Hard Candy and Crushed Pearl. And I've been using the Morphe M501 brush, which is really nice. It's like a huge eyeshadow brush, but it's, it's nice for highlight. I really like it. So I'm just going to dab it in. The formula of these is insane. So you really do need a tiny amount and you can really see it on the skin because a lot of highlighters just don't show up on me. So I'm just going to apply that to the tops of the cheekbones, blend it out. I hope that you can see this on camera. That banana powder definitely hasn't stopped my concealer from creasing. I have such creasy eyes. I'm going to take a tiny bit of highlighter just up here because I think that looks quite pretty. I don't mind looking sweaty. That is my aim. Add a bit to the other side. Tiny bit on my nose, just what's left on the brush, a little bit on my cupid's bow. And I think it's very easy to go overboard, so I'm going to stop there. I think that looks really pretty. For my eyes, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. I made a little quad in Sephora. There's a lot of fallout on these eyeshadows. It's made quite a bit of mess, but they're really, really nice. I'm going to use the lighter shade that I got. And they're seriously pigmented. Like, look at that. I took the tiniest amount on my brush. So, so pretty. I went for three shimmer shades and one matte because the shimmers, when I just swatched them, they, they felt amazing. I'm going to take the slightly pinkier shade, which looks a bit like MAC All The Glitters. I'll try and remember the shade names. I'll have a little look underneath and then I'll link all the products I'm talking about below in the description box. Then I'm going to take this shade, which is a kind of matte lilac, which is a bit different, but I think it's really nice in the crease in the outer part of the eye. And then what I'm going to do is go back to the Kat Von D contour palette and I think I'll take the middle shade, which is like a medium matte brown, and take that in the crease just to warm it up a little bit. And then I'm also going to take that same brown underneath the eye. I forgot to bring eyeliner with me, so this isn't ideal because it's quite a big brush, but I'm going to try and take a little bit of the dark contour brown and just run it along the eye, the top lash line. Wait, I forgot mascara as well. I'm going to have to come back. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other eye. But now I've got my eyeliner, I'm going to put a bit of that on as well. It's just MAC uh, Groundbreaker, which I have used this eyeliner every day since I bought it. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to put that very close to the lash line. I feel a bit naked with that bright brown eyeliner. For my mascara, I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's new mascara, which is Legendary Lashes. I've also just realised I haven't put blusher on yet. This is because I haven't filmed like a sit down proper video in ages because I've been away. So this all feels very strange to me. This mascara is unreal. Look at that. That was like two strokes. It's a very wet formula. So it's a sort of mascara that you don't want to sneeze until it dries. But it gives amazing lashes. I really like it. I didn't like her original mascara. So I'm happy she's brought out this one now. Gives quite spidery lashes, but I know a lot of people quite like that look. This definitely isn't an everyday lash look. Right, back to blusher, because I do need a little bit of colour, all that contouring. This I picked up in Sephora, it's from Tata Harper, and it's the Volumizing Lip and Cheek Tint. I'm just going to put my finger in there a couple of times. I'm going to smile like this, a little weird smile, and dab it on my cheek. And then I've just got a little Dura Fibre brush, just to kind of blend that in. very subtle and pretty though, I really like this and you can use it on the lips as well. That's the blusher done. And then I'm just going to end with lips. You guys know I was out in New York with Urban Decay because they've launched 100 new lipstick shades, um, they're called Vice Lipsticks. The only one I've actually got the lip liner for is the shade Insanity, so I'm going to use that lip liner and lipstick, but then I might go over the top a bit with a shade called Liar. I'm really into lip liner at the moment. I keep seeing comments from you guys in my videos asking if I've had my lips done. I definitely haven't. I'm just quite, quite enjoying wearing like nude, slightly overlined lips. So I'm just going around the edges. And then when I do the top lip, I like to draw in a bit of a cupid's bow. And then the lipstick is in a cream finish. So it's very comfortable and easy to wear. This is a very nude colour though, so let's see. 
I do think that's nice, but it's very kind of creamy nude. So I'm just going to go over at the top with a shade called Liar. Just a bit more pinky nude. So that is the final look using some of the new products that I've been trying out, that I've been buying in America, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them in action. Thanks so much for watching all my Everyday May videos so far and leaving comments and getting involved. It's been so nice to kind of read my comments every day, and I just love creating videos every day, whether they're more complicated ones or just easier ones or just sit down kind of chatty ones. It's been fun so far and there's still a bit of time left in May. So don't forget to subscribe and go and watch the Everyday May playlist if you feel like you may have missed some videos along the way because I've been making daily videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.